Hi guys, welcome back to another Transformers toy review. This time I'm having a look at Robots in Disguise Decepticon Bludgeon from the Combiner Force Wave. Uh, I had this guy for a little while, I just haven't got round to uh, reviewing him. Um, so, should be cool. I do have the repaint, well, the original guy of this guy, um, who is, I think, Blast Wave, who um, we expected would be repainted into Bludgeon, and uh, they have done, so a Decepticon one that we've got here. And uh, here he is in all his packaging, kind of fairly sanded kind of G1 colours here. Um, the red's kind of a bit of a darker red, but you've got kind of orange and green in there, and a picture of him in his... Uh, vehicle mode here some nice artwork at the top here of him in robot mode and then switch around to the back and you've got a, some rather cool pictures on there of him in robot and vehicle mode it says he takes 13 steps to transform him from one mode to another and also shows you information how you can uh, download and scan and unlock uh, features within the robots in disguise game using the uh, the insignias at the top there which are on each figure which you can scan using your phone or um, tablet if you want to so uh, yeah and that's him on the side there so he's a warrior class one which is basically a deluxe class so what we'll do now is we'll open up the package and uh, take a look at him and see what we think here we go we've got him in his uh, robot mode straight out of the packaging um, I've put the gun in his hand but I haven't adjusted the um, these bits on the back here just because I want to show you it does come kind of slightly mistransformed because the gun bits are supposed to come up but you could have them done slightly differently if you want to make them a little bit different I think for the Decepticon one anyway at least I think you do want to um, ah it's, that's just on on here like that so you can just Pop that up like that and uh, yeah so you've got him like that I think uh, that does make him look a bit more kind of Decepticon like in my opinion um, he's got lots of paint on him um, yeah so if I, I'll bring him a bit closer up so you can have a look on the face here we've got this kind of it's orange plastic and then it's painted over red and it's kind of like a um, almost like a metallic red it's got this kind of shine to it and the face is done really well it's painted in white and then the eyes are painted purple which is really nice and then you've got the same purple paint on here um, is that green uh, it's green plastic on here green plastic here then red paint added in here with the Decepticon symbol in here these are painted silver with purple across here as well and that's all painted inside there too again orange plastic which is painted red which is done really nicely and um, I think that's green paint on the side of here as well and silver down at the bottom here so quite a lot of paint um, on this figure which actually to be fair on the robots and skies line they haven't kind of scrimped back I don't think good articulation as well the uh, head rotates around like so no up and down movement the arms go all the way around you can move them out to the side here as well swivel here and then a bend which takes you up to there the hands do not move and you just got a, a kind of a hole in there where you can pop the pop the sword in there um, but you do have a slightly open there so it does look like a, a proper fist in there which is uh, quite nice uh, waist articulation you do get just above there and that goes all the way around the legs you can lift all the way up uh, at the back they're kind of stopped by this backpack here so you kind of get back as far as there really you do get a uh, pretty deep bend in the knee there you do get a swivel at the top here you don't get any articulation in the foot unfortunately but uh, he's a he's a figure um, you know I've already reviewed the other guy and uh, given him high praise and uh, it's quite cool to have the two sat alongside each other maybe even like kind of two brothers side by side I think that uh, does look very good yeah, very cool looking Decepticon, that's for sure. And then what we'll do is get him transformed, uh, if I can remember how to transform him. So take this out of here like that. Um, this bit's going to end up being the kind of front of the uh, vehicle. Uh, from memory, I think uh, these bits end up round here. Um, so you want to kind of pull these bits out. 
think that's right. There. So this bit comes out here like that. I think that's going to come over here like that. So ah, uh, yeah. So I see what happens here is you kind of fold this on in on itself like so. like that and that bit's going to come and peg into that bit there on the side like that and then this bit's going to come round this foot bit's going to come round to the side here and just peg in like so same on the other side just move the hand out of the way for now and peg this bit round here bring this round peg this round into here like that bring that round bring this bit around and it'll just clip in there like that. So you're kind of nearly done there. Um, this piece here is going to fall forward. The head, I think you kind of turn it around and then peg it down like that. And then you've got the um, this bit showing up here if you do want to peg in the sword. This bit sits down here like so. And just figure out where the arms need to go. I think you might need to move them around like that. Let's double check. Uh, yeah, so I think what I need to do is this bit needs to be facing the other way. So you just swivel it around like that and then these bits are all going to kind of come and plug together like so. So should put together there and there. Like that. So that comes together at the back. This bit swivels round. It doesn't this bit moves up and down on here. And then I believe you can then plug in the sword into this into there if you want to. Or have it facing forward or you've got little plug holes on the side here for it as well so you can take them out and pick it in there probably looks better in there to be fair oh uh, yeah and uh, that's it you've got the kind of tank mode it's quite like a futuristic looking tank mode almost like cybertronian uh unfortunately the back end of it is uh kind of quite empty um, but you know the front of it looks pretty cool and you know if you're going to have a display it or mess around with it you're probably going to have it like that um, and it's a pretty cool toy to play with you do get uh, little wheels at the bottom here which don't you know roll so well on this sort of surface but uh, you know they kind of do the job uh, this bit rotates around fine if you do have it on there it does catch a little bit on this bit here which you just need to be wary of but it does rotate all the way around so you could have them facing that way if you so wish um, yeah and you could also peg the sword into the back there as well but that's about it it's fairly you know, quick and easy to transform bearing in mind I haven't looked at instructions and uh, you know haven't uh, haven't transformed this particular toy in a, in a little while so uh, yeah I think I did all right doing that and just transforming it back just to show you that make sure it's uh, so you can kind of, a lot of these robots in Skies ones, you can kind of muddle through fairly quickly. Um, so for parents and stuff, if they're you know looking to buy them for their kids and stuff, it isn't too hard to work out, which I I know from a, a lot of cases can be the problem. I remember as a kid annoying my parents of, I actually I wasn't too bad, but um, you know. Some people like, you know, forever asking their parents how to do the transformation and, you know, the parents end up getting annoyed with it. And uh, thankfully I was pretty much left to my own devices with them. I think otherwise my parents would have ended up breaking a few. Um, as it was, I was pretty good at doing that myself. I think the main one I remember is breaking a Megatron, which I was absolutely devastated about. But uh, there you go. That's uh, Transformers Robots in Disguise Bludgeon. Uh, do I recommend him? Yeah, I think so. Um, it, again, it's all depending on price. Uh, this guy retails at about fifteen, sixteen pounds, which is pretty steep to be honest for a deluxe figure. But that's kind of the way it's going um, at the moment. Um, 
you know, it depends if you're desperate for this mold and go ahead and pick him up. Um, if not, you know, maybe see, wait around for sales. At £10, definitely pick him up if you can do. Um, or, you know, even better if he's less. Sometimes they do two for one on these kind of, kind of um, Transformers and with robots in disguise kind of coming to an end with a cartoon. You may be able to uh, pick him up at a decent price. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching and see you all soon. Bye-bye.